Hello and welcome. This is Angie with TheCountryStreetCottage.net here today with another edition of our Cricut Basics series. So what are Cricut Basics? Cricut Basics are where we go through Cricut Design Space and explain all those little buttons and what they do in short little snippet videos. So if you've missed any of our Cricut Basics series, head to our YouTube channel, scroll down to the Cricut Basics playlist, and you can watch all of them. We've been doing them over a year, about one a month, and you can see all of them and learn all about Cricut Design Space and using your machine. So today, we're going to talk about the weld function. So the weld function, you might have seen it in the lower right-hand corner of your screen, and you're wondering, what does that do? What is that button? What can I use it for? We're here to answer all those questions. The weld function in Cricut Design Space can be found in the lower right-hand corner. So this function is useful in a few different cases, and we're going to go over each of those. So first of all, I added a square and a circle into Cricut Design Space just with the shapes option. We've talked about designing with shapes before, and you can scroll back on YouTube to see that video. Now, if I pick one of the shapes, the weld is not active. But when I pick two shapes at the same time, the weld is. So let's say I wanted to take the square and the circle and make them one shape. I move them together however I want them, pick them both, and then click Weld. Now you can see that this is one layer. It's a welded shape all by itself. And you can do a variety of things with this and the shapes in Cricut Design Space. Now let's talk about welding and text. So here I put the word testing in a cursive font. The first thing I'll need to do is to move my letter spacing closer so that my letters become one. So you can see here, about right there, my E and my S are correctly spaced. For this one, let's ungroup to letters. Let's just weld that E and S together. So I choose both the E and the S. And right now they're completely separate letters. But if I weld them, now they're one piece. So now I can take those pieces and move them closer together. So let's move all the letters to where this is one cohesive word. And then once I get then once I get all of those to where they make a word that looks correct, I can choose all the letters, click weld, and now I have one word and the Cricut will cut this as one piece when cutting. So that's important and it won't be each individual letter like it would be otherwise. So next let's think about when you have images that are already in design space. So this mini and this thanks is already in design space, but maybe I want those to cut as one piece. So I can move those together, pick them both, and click weld. And now this will cut as one piece for say a card or something like that, instead of in two pieces. So it's a pretty powerful tool. Weld is one of my favorite tools in Cricut Design Space. So I hope you enjoyed it as well, and we'll start using it to design your own projects and alter maybe some of those images that are already in Design Space. If you love this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you don't want to miss any of our Cricut Basic series, because we have them about one a month. And if you want to learn Cricut Design Space, this is the place to be. Thank you all so much for joining me. Bye-bye.